little snuggle time here with me and Matt Matson here. Yes. Warm. We're having some good times. WW. That's right. MM. Watch out. We're like, oh yeah, that's that's a gangster right there. Right. That's mad, man. I love it. Okay, talk to me about what you are doing in Unicorn City. You're kind of the conscience of the film, really. Tell me about your character. Uh, my character's name is Clancy, and he's the brother of Voss, who's who's our main character. And uh, Clancy's kind of the supportive, like the supportive brother, who's like. All right, my brother has a dumb idea. I'll do it. I, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> and uh, so, and and I think I, I think Clancy has a certain like naivete to him. So um, it's kind of how I played it. Well, it looks like you guys are having a lot of fun making this film, especially when I was talking to some other members of the cast. They're just saying this was probably the funnest film they've ever worked on. Tell me about uh, any of the fun experiences you may have had while on set. Wow, it w it was hot at times, but we just we would sit under the uh, the canopies and just make songs. Like we we had a guitar. Um, it was endless the the amount of fun we had. I mean, um, of course, for actors, it's a little easier to have fun because you're not moving lights around. And and but the whole crew like was having fun, and and everyone. It was a really good vibe on the set. Just it was. It, it was something that everyone could say, I love this project. It's, it's, it's an amazing project to be a part of. And so I'm glad that I was able to, you know, be in it. So Now, a lot of our audience are filmmakers. They want to know how to really break into the business and what you need to do to kind of cut your teeth to make a, a good film like this. What was your path to get to where you are right now? Uh, I started doing a lot of improv. Well, I guess it started from a kid. I, I was the class clown. And, you know, that's really can be addictive, the laughter of other people. You you start to crave it. And so I started getting into a little bit of theater in high school. And then and then I went the route of more improv, stage improv. And then, then I got an agent and started doing more acting. And um, so my advice to, to anyone is just find your own path, you know, F but the point is you got to be doing something about it. Just, you know, get out there, join an acting class, join a, get in a community play or audition for a student film. There's so many, um, opportunities, um, if you, if you just make them for yourself. So I would just say, just do it, you know, get in there and, uh, and you can do anything. You can do anything as long as you just do it. I've got Missy Hill here from Unicorn City. Now this film looks like a lot of fun. What can someone take from it who's never even heard of this film? First off, tell me a little bit about what it is, and then what's the funnest part in this whole film? Uh, I'd say, well, what it's about, okay, is about uh, a bunch of gamers, um, well, one in particular, who wants to strive and get himself out there and become something but in the realm of what he's interested in which is gaming and um, he he proceeds to try and win a job by secretly gathering all his friends and creating a utopia out in the mountains all in our gear in the larping gear and um, prove and videotape and document it and prove that he can lead a guild and uh, so much goes awry and so much drama and hilari hilarity, it's, um, it's funny. And then it all comes back together in a, very, in a very touching way at the end. Well, one of the things I've noticed is this is all filmed in Utah in the hottest part of the year. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but it's in still the fun. mountains with the sun beating. But it still looks like, such a, like you guys were having so much fun. Were you guys able to get a lot of work done even in this heat and laughing the entire time? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes uh, it was really tiresome just waiting for your scene to be shot, sitting in the in the tent. And I mean, and they had umbrellas to keep us shaded and stuff, but that doesn't change how hot it is. And we are in our full LARPing gear, which makes it 10 times hotter. And you just start to get really, really, really exhausted. Um, a couple people got heat stroke, yeah. So, I mean, it definitely, it, the elements definitely affected us, but you push through it, you know, you have, you have a goal and, and you do it and you, you make the most out of it and have fun. And who is this film for? Is it for adults? Is it for kids? Everybody under the rainbow? A lot of people would think that it's for kids, you know? I mean, at first glance, at first impression, I mean, I'm sure I would think that too, but it's not. 
anyone of any age can watch this movie and relate to it, take something back from it, learn something from it that they can pass on. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a warm, feeling, good-hearted movie all around for any age. How much pain are you in when you have this mohawk in full bloom and it starts to blow on the wind up there in the mountains? None at all. None at all. <laughs> None at all. Now, you have a centaur's backsides made out of an ice chest in this movie. Yes. I'm, like a I was, Coleman cooler, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, now, I'm convinced that uh, you were able to blackmail people, I, even on the crew, during this set shoot. Were you able to hide all sorts of stuff back in there and really start uh, wheeling and dealing, kind of doing the black market catering truck? <laughs> yeah, I thought about it, but the catering crew we had, took, took, they kind of usurped my efforts there. So I just, you know, I just kept some, some of my... Basically, sunscreen in there and and drinks. Also, you're in the in this movie. You're topless a lot. You're uh -huh. you're running around without a shirt on yep. all the time. Yeah. Two questions. First off, is that all your real chest hair? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then second, uh, did you ever get really sunburned on the shoot? No, they took great care of me with the <laughs> sunscreen, and they had uh, people holding umbrellas over us if we we're out in the sun, waiting for them to set up and stuff like that. So. Yeah, they, they took good care of me. I never got burnt. All audiences, I find, can enjoy it. It's PG, family friendly, witty, and uh, I bet you anything you'll laugh. <laughs> I, bet, I bet a couple well, dollars. Well, I saw the film. I laughed. I thought you were a very endearing character in this film. I mean, anybody who doesn't watch this show and say, Oh, that's Jacqueline so pretty and so funny and so... Tina Fey-esque. That's what I was that getting. I will take. I love Tina Fey. That's a compliment. Yeah. I mean, that, sure. that's something I was noticing is that you're able to deliver that humor so effortless, effortlessly in your role. And Thanks. so that's something I really enjoyed. What other projects do you have coming up? I know you do a lot of comedy sports type things. Yeah. Um, but talk to me about some of your other projects coming up. Well, honestly, the my most recent project that I was doing right before this was a play and that just ended. Um, and now I have been in talks with some other directors that I met at, at a the LDS Film Festival, and uh, there might be some tentative projects in fall, and I can't discuss them at this moment, but that oh, is sure. what I will be working on. Uh, and, and then obviously I'll audition from here until then, because that's a while away. Well, excellent. If they were smart, they will cast you, because, well, smart people cast Jacqueline Hales in their films. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. You can stay. The Beast Lord. Bring that weak sauce. I don't know how to sleep well without the sound of the ocean swell. I figured out how I'm gonna get the job at Warlock. Awesome! You have just entered a new realm. You are now quite literally your characters. Right. It's like a geek reading ground. This is so exciting. Listen, I want to create a love interest for Roshana to experience for the duration of this campaign. You will be your characters, and through them, we shall create a utopia. The challenge has been made for the leadership of Unicron City. Put your hands behind your back. That hurts so bad. Friends of the Guild, look to the board! Charge! Win a party or what? Cradle it softly like a baby. <laughs>